Hey there, I'm Rachel with Positively Mommy. So I was at a salon getting my hair cut a few months ago and the stylist behind us was using a giant pink three barrel curling iron, just like this one. And I was in awe. I asked my stylist, what is that curling iron back there? What does it do? You might be surprised by her answer. It's fun, different, and an easy way to style your hair in about 10 minutes. Stay tuned to find out what it is and how to use it. So what is this beast? It's a three barrel curling iron that I found on Amazon for under $30. This video is how to use a three barrel curling iron or hair waver or crimper and it's really easy. You're going to get some serious volume with this bad boy. Okay, I've already washed my hair and prepped it with just a tad of this product. It's called Catwalk by TG Curls Rock Amplified. And it's kind of like a gel with a pump. And I put that on when it's wet and then I blow dried my hair. And I also used some of this Kerastase Ultimate Elixir in the ends, just one pump or even half a pump, just in the ends like this. And I also have put in a little bit of heat protectant. If you really want it to stay in for days, you can also use hairspray as well, and links are in the description below. Well, I actually have two of these curling irons because I tried the pink one twice on myself and couldn't get the waves to stay in. My daughter used it on my hair though, and it looked really good, but I just had a really hard time using it on my own hair. It was awkward, and I burned my face a couple times, and I noticed that it pulls out hair a lot right here. Next, I tried the bed head, a wave we go, and it was a lot easier for me to use. I have this one set at 375 degrees. The barrel is adjustable in three different, here, three different um, thicknesses. So this would be tight, and this would be medium, and this would be loose. I tend to like the tight, like this, or the middle, but I have pretty long hair. I think on shorter hair, the loose would be better. Sometimes I mix it up and try all of them. Why not? Okay, so first we're going to section the hair. You don't section it quite the same way as a regular curling iron. Um, I usually just section my hair in two when I'm using a regular curling iron, but this time I'm gonna section it in three because we kind of want more skinny um, sections of hair than thick sections of hair. The most important thing to know with this three barrel curling iron is that you don't twist it like a regular curling iron. You release it and pull it down like this. And you hold each, each section for about 10 seconds. So we just want to take kind of a skinny piece of hair, but it can be wide. And then we want to start at the roots and clamp it down. And then wait a few seconds and go to the next section and clamp it down. And we kind of want to pull up on the hair so that the curls stay in nicely. And of course, if you want to see what you're doing, you can see the hair in there. Or if you want it to be up closer to the root so you can get more volume, then you can do it this way. And I'm really just holding for a few seconds, but if you want this to stay for a few days, um, go ahead and leave it in maybe 10 seconds per pass. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more. I'll show you this side. So it's kind of a wide skinny piece here. And then I'm gonna take it close to the root and hold and then move it down and pu push up so we don't weigh it down. And then down and hold, push up, release, go to the next section. I can see some steam rising up. 
down and hold. And I just do a little tiny piece at the end because I don't want that to be too tight. And then if you'd like, you can add some hairspray. And I'll go ahead and do the rest and we'll speed it up. So again, on this section, I'm just going up by the root, taking a thin section of hair and you can kind of spread it out, clamp it tight and then pull up. And just keep following that down to the tip of your hair. And I just leave a little piece out so it doesn't look too tight, just like that. I mean, you can't really mess this up. It's pretty easy. I'm gonna, got a bigger piece this time, so I'm just gonna spread it out and leave it in a little longer. I'm glad I used a heat protectant on this because there is some steam coming up from my hair. All right, and I can see what's happening right here on this side. And just a little one at the bottom. There we go. It's gonna come again here, close to the root, about five or 10 seconds on each pass. Spread it out. This baby gets hot. All right. There we go. Let's see, how's the back? Mm, looks pretty good. All right. All right, now for the top section. I've already done the other two sections and I'm going to bring the top down just for the finishing touch. And this is the most important, of course. So we wanna do a good job here. I'm just gonna take the side and I'm gonna start up at the root. Actually, I'm gonna get a smaller section there. Just like that. I'm gonna spread it out so all the hairs get some love. So this three barrel curling iron can be called a waver or a crimper. Remember from the 80s when we used to crimp our hair? Did anyone crimp their hair in the 80s? Let me know in the comments. I know I did and I look like I had hair that came out of a light socket. And this is a little bit more subdued, but still the same kind of feeling. I'm gonna spread out the hair there. I've got some stragglers there. So if you mess up like I did, you can just go back to where you were in that little curl and start over and it will look just fine. There we go. All right. When you get to the upper hair, it's hard to isolate the two bottom layers, but it's okay if you get some in there. It will just look just fine. I'm gonna adjust the next one so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so we've been in the middle and I'm going to um, do the biggest adjustment so you can see what the curl looks like. I'm gonna do it right here. 
gonna take this piece of hair. All right. Just go forward and spread it out. I don't like having this particular one up so close to the root. Um, keeps falling out because it's just too tight of a curl. But, so this is the loosest option. As you can see, it's more like a beachy wave, but I think it's really pretty. It's not perfect. Kind of a little asymmetrical. And then I'll show you the tightest. So this is all the way in. That's too big of a piece. And you can mix and match throughout your hair, of course, and it'll just look a little messy if that's what you're looking for, or you can do it all the same if you're looking for a neat look, a neat and put together look. This does kind of hurt your arm. <laughs> because this is a heavy curling iron and you have to put a lot of pressure on it to keep it together. I missed a spot there, so I'm gonna go back. There we go. So that's the curliest option right there. It kind of looks like when you have braided your hair in lots of little braids, that's the same kind of look. Okay, next, I'm gonna go back to the middle Okay, here we go. This is a huge piece. <laughs> I probably made it too big, so you'll be able to see that it doesn't curl quite as well when you use a big piece because there's just too much hair and the heat can't get in there. If your hair has a hard time curling, you can always put a little hairspray in before you go down and that will help it to stay, but my hair holds a curl like nothing else. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna do this small piece here, spread it out. All right, I think I have one in the back to do. I think it's easier to bring the back pieces up to the front. Let's see. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Did I miss anything? I'm gonna do this piece over. And of course, if you need to, you can go back and redo or touch up as needed. Whew, it's getting hot up in here. This baby is hot right next to your face. All right, I think I got it all. All right, so if you'd like some extra volume, um, this Kerastase volume in powder is amazing. It just kind of gives you a root lift. So I'm gonna take some and section off my hair and spray right in the roots, like that. Just down, framing the face. Here we go. Just a little bit goes a long way. Make sure to shake it. There we go. All right, what do you think about that? <laughs> it's curly, isn't it? Lots of body and volume. I'm just running my fingers through my hair just the slightest amount. And um, I'm going to finish off with this again, just putting in a half a pump. This is Kerastase Ultimate Elixir. 
and I love this stuff. It adds shine and a little bit of heat protecting and it just softens the frizz because this can give you quite a bit of frizz. All right, this is the way I part my hair and I'm gonna fluff it up a little. There we go. I'll do a full circle. There we go. What do you think? Do you have any questions? If you do, please post a comment and I'd be happy to answer. And thanks for watching.